construction of the $62.7 billion Verdun Hoop Shore base on the west coast of Demerara will soon commence as sod was turned at the facility on Tuesday. The shore base has been undertaken by Verdun Hoop Shore Base Incorporated, a joint venture between a consortium of local businesses, NGR Holdings, and Jean de Nol, a Luxembourg-based international maritime infrastructure company. In April last, Verdun Hoop Shore Base Incorporated landed a contract with Exxon Mobil Guyana to support future construction activities of the company. Through the contract, Exxon Mobil Guyana will use the shore base to conduct more of its fabrication works. Speaking at the South Tornin, President of Exxon Mobil Guyana, Alistair Rutledge, said that the project is a key milestone for the development of Region 3. We're bringing opportunity into the country to develop oil and gas here with the support services. But it's also, I think, going to be the foundation for a much larger port project that the, the directors have an ambition to build here, which will have a more significant in, impact for the whole country. Meanwhile, Minister of Natural Resources Vikram Barrett commended the entrepreneurs for undertaking the initiative and answering the call of the government to form joint ventures so Guyanese can also invest in the oil and gas sector. It requires a lot of startup capital to invest in the oil and gas sector. And that is a challenge for us in Guyana. It is, it is a challenge for our local private sector, the access to capital. And one way to overcome that is for us to come together in partnership, in joint ventures, in, in, in forming ourselves into a consortium. And this is what is happening today. This is what is happening today by these three Guyanese young entrepreneurs. Director of NGR Holdings, Nicholas de Gouboye, said that the company, which holds an 85% stake in the project, is committed to working with residents to improve the community and bring employment opportunities in the oil and gas sector to the region. The shore-based development will include facilities such as general heavy loading berths, storage laydown yards, construction offices, mess hall, parking and backup generators. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Richard Bainey.